Hi, and welcome to Hummies World. We are working through all the blending modes in a blending mode class. We are all the way down to the exclusion blending mode. If you are jumping on board, stumbling across this video, and haven't watched all the others, I recommend you uh, going to the guide at hummiesworld.com and starting from the beginning. Um, the as we've said with all of the blending modes, it's all about the math. Are you getting tired of hearing it? Well, um, you know, we get through them and, and we get to the classes, the lessons after uh, the, uh, where we, we are sticking to one blending mode and I'll stop saying that. Um, the exclusion blending mode is similar to the difference, which we just reviewed, but with lower contrast. And I'm not going to go back to the math. Go watch the difference one to talk about it. Let's keep this easy and fast. Here's the graphic that we are reviewing. And I'm going to go down and choose the difference one, which we just did and we talked about, and how um, the black had no change, uh, but that um, the purple comes from the inverted green. It's opposite the green on the color wheel. So the exclusion works very similarly, only it's much more subtle. You see, um, this is a gradual um, fade out to no change with black and a much more pleasing uh, purple. Um, not so stark and so this is your exclusion and what it looks like and I actually have a very simple uh, example um, using this and here is my sample using it and uh, here is my original image we are deconstructing and reconstructing however this one's pretty easy to reconstruct I'm going to go ahead and copy this so I can, whoops, <laughs> I hit the uh, wrong layer, uh, wrong icon. I'm even saying the wrong thing. <laughs> that comes after working all day long and coming home and working some more. But um, now I'm going to drag and get rid of the layer mask and I'm going to uh, remove the layer style and then I'm going to show you the image so this is the image that you're going to get in the download and this is this image I think would work great with some of the other blending modes but you're going to get a chance to try it with the other blending modes after we go through all the blending modes um, you can see it's got all these yummy, <laughs> I love saying yummy, it just feels yummy. I just love it. So all the little lines, um, I drew those with a, a comb, one of the a hair pick. And um, I think these are tea grounds spread all over it. Um, but as I said, it's just yummy. And we are going to go down and well, let's look at the difference in what it does. Ack! Does not look good. It comes out and it goes, hello! <laughs> I don't know, but we made it artistic with the last lesson. But now we're going to be a little bit more subtle with the exclusion. And it still is mostly all the um, texture. You're going to remember, um, as we've been learning in this in this one the black made no change so the darker your texture is uh, the more um, it's not going to make any changes in those spots so that'll help you select a texture uh, and of course I had I chose this texture with no real color to it either but you're going to see a lot of the little uh, things did disappeared in certain spots like in here uh, all the little tea leaves <laughs> or they turned uh, white up in here um, which is the opposite of black 
but um, then I just simply lowered the opacity until I felt it uh, was good and I added my text and originally I had my text um, straight but as I sat here and I thought well I it's like a haze which would be kind of cool it almost looks like it's raining in the background and um, I could use that uh, but how could I use it with my text um, I went ahead and changed some color on my text so it reads yes life instructions yes life instructions if people just see that first and then they go back and read yes I've made mistakes life did not come with instructions kind of a parody uh, or a I don't know, opposite of, of what the words I highlighted are I thought that kind of worked well I don't know if it's going to come across that way but that was my thinking but I was thinking to myself what can I do with this it it works I can see the lines up in the sky that may be a clue for you if you've got a picture of clouds or something light this texture is really going to show through because it doesn't show through very well down here it just makes it all kind of hazy so that might help you in picking out your photo for this texture and then it hit me you know um, you know yes I've made mistakes but um, you know I want to peel away those mistakes because life um, didn't come with instructions and it's okay that I made mistakes so I, I wanted to get a peeling away effect and so I grabbed my well first I added a layer mask and um, it's uh, black I don't know why I, it's <laughs> I'm gonna hit control I for invert and uh, white reveals so right now it's revealing all of the texture black conceals that's why when it was black you could see the picture as the initial picture I grabbed my polygonal lasso tool and I just kind of selected this area along my text that I tilted and clicked on my mask to make sure I was on the mask made sure uh, my foreground color was black or at least one of them and alt backspace and it filled the mask with black if uh, my black was in uh, the background color control backspace would fill it control D to deselect and then I went ahead and um, added a drop shadow I kept it low uh, on distance and I raised the spread and the size however I'm not going to take time to do it um, and I thought hey that works it's kind of like um, a haze over part of the image and kind of like it's peeled back that uh, vellum or haze to reveal that life's okay there, here's the haze of life with mistakes and I've peeled it away I'm gonna go ahead and delete this that we've made and turn on my original um, that I'm going with and I thought that it doesn't need anything more this this line grounds everything and that's it that's all I did so I'm trying to show you too if you're making these with text now you don't have to but as you're making these um, and using the textures you need to think about what you're conveying to the readers and you may or may not come across as you intend um, you know everybody reads things differently they may read something totally different out of this than I intended but that's okay they may like it because they of what they read and Anyway, that's it for the exclusion and go get your download and share what you do with this and I'll be anxious to see.